Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. Now, what we're going to be doing in this lesson is we're going to be looking at two tricks to change your chords quickly and smoothly. If you were with me in the last video, we learned how to play our first chord. We learned how to play the A chord. Well, what I want to do is make this chord easier for you um, so you can make the chord faster. You can switch chords faster as we learn more guitar chords and things like that. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share this video or the playlist, which there is a link in the description for the playlist. So if you're new to this and you just sort of, you know, fell onto this video, there's a whole guitar course um, of training. So please click on the playlist and uh, start learning and see what I can do to help you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Two tricks to change your chords quickly and smoothly. Now oftentimes when we make chords, let's go to the A chord we've been talking about. And hopefully you've had some practice with that A chord and you've decided on which fingers work best for the way you're going to make this chord. Okay, so here's my A chord. Now I'm going to be using these three fingers, kind of the traditional way of playing A. I'm strumming the bottom five strings here. Okay, but one of the big hangups isn't making the chord, it's making the chord fast and accurately. So here's what I always tell my students. If you can see it in your head, if you can see it, you can play it. If you can't see it, you can't play it. If I asked you to play me a D flat minor 7 flat 9 whatever, and you don't know it, you can't see it. But if I can say to you, play me an A chord, and you can think in your brain, okay, it's 2nd fret of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd, 1st and 5th strings are open. You're seeing it. And you could even maybe speak it to me, right? You could say it out loud what that chord is. You need to see it. So the first part of these two, the two tricks, so to speak, the first part is memorization, visualization. If you can see it, you can play it. You have got to have a clear picture of what you're trying to do. And the second part is a technique that I refer to as bouncing, which is really great. It can be frustrating, but it's a really great practice uh, to develop your chords. Now, basically what we're going to do here is if I took this A chord, Okay, and I always have in my guitar classes, I always make, you know, bets with my my classes. If they can make the, the chord faster than me, I'll, you know, buy them a piece or something like that. So what I want you to do is think about this. If you took this A chord right here and you set your hand on your lap and I counted to three and I wanted to you for you to make that chord as fast as possible. So I said, one, two, three, you go up here. There's only two choices. Either you're making this chord like this which is independent movement of your fingers, or you're making the chord like this, which is collective. It's one movement of your fingers. Now what bouncing is, is training yourself to make this chord in one movement. So you pretend, pretend, like your fingers are super glued together, right? And what you do is you pick them up across, you, you pick them up away from the guitar neck, and then you set them down. So it isn't how fast you can do this. It's not, again, a race of speed. It's training your mind, your body, to make this chord by picking your fingers up and then setting it back down. And the real practice isn't when you set it down, it's when you're up in the air. It's training your hand to make this shape right here and then set it down. So if I went back to that example of my hand sitting on my lap and I wanted to make an A chord, as soon as I lift my fingers, it makes the shape I want. So then I just go up to the guitar and I set it down. So I'm not getting to the guitar neck and then building the chord. I've already built it in air. As I was moving, I already built that chord that I wanted and I simply set it down. And we do that through bouncing. Now what is bouncing? It's training, it's muscle memory is what it is. You're training your hand to make that particular shape over and over and over again so it gets fast and it gets accurate. Now, the third trick that I'll tell you, which isn't really a trick, but look at your guitar when you play. I don't know who made this rock star rule that you're not supposed to look at your guitar when you play. What else are you going to look at? Like watch, you know, TV while you're doing That's not good either. Okay, when you first start learning how to play, look at your guitar. You know, don't make A and then do this because someone told you you're not supposed to look at your guitar, so you're just, you're just doing nothing. Focus on what you're doing. If you've got 15 minutes to practice or 20 minutes to practice, spend that time focused. Turn your phone off, you know, turn the TV off, whatever it is that you need to do. Turn all of those things off and really focus on what it feels like. 
and what it looks like. And then, ultimately, what it sounds like. Okay, so if you think about, if we summarize what we've done so far through all of these lessons, we've learned the parts of the guitar, we've learned the strings, how to hold the guitar, how to hold the pick, all those sorts of things. We've learned a tremendous practice technique called scratching to develop your rhythm. Learning chords will not teach you about rhythm. Learning a chord and then strumming it will not teach you about rhythm. You have got to spend time... with rhythm as its own entity. Then you come over here and you start working with chords. And eventually these two worlds are gonna collide. But the second thing is, is developing this chord. Making this A chord and strumming it for 10 minutes is not gonna train your hand to make this A chord. That's what I did wrong, okay? If you wanna to learn to get good at this A chord, you do it by bouncing. First visualize, make sure you know what you're trying to do before you ever start bouncing. And then what you do is you pick it up and you set it down and you train your hand to make this shape. So if you want that A, boom. Your hand comes up, it makes the shape, and it sets it down, and you're done. That's all you do. Okay, if you're coming up to the guitar and you're having to build it, it's going to take too long because there's no song in the history of songs that's going to wait for you. So learning how to visualize and learning how to bounce, and you do that through focused practice, no distractions, and look at your guitar when you play. Okay, so please do me a favor, like, share this video, subscribe to the channel, you know, all those sorts of things. That way I can continue uh, helping you. And there is a link in the description below for the playlist for all these videos that are part of this guitar course. And there's also a link to, uh, in the description to some free training, a free guitar course of mine. So please check that out as well. And uh, take care, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video.